Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh uh, Welcome everyone My name is Virgil Atrik Fadilali And I'm from Electrical Engineering of University of Indonesia And today I'm going to uh, present about the summary of wireless communication intro from the wireless network uh, course and let's just get started first slide uh, the history of wireless communication um, wireless communication has been around since ancient times uh, they would use things such as smoke signals or carrier pigeons to communicate with long distance until in the 1880s Marconi invented radio that uses air to propagate electromagnetic waves and this radio uh, has been a huge influence and has a lot of use it was very frequent in the World War II until cellular use is being commercialized the cellular use grown exponentially since the 1988 until the present day as you can already see in the graph on the right hand side of the screen and then uh, as for the future of wireless communication is most definitely IOT and other possible things are next gen cellular or Wi-Fi smart homes air driving cars body area network and all sorts of of other things. In short, there will be communication between people and devices. An example for IoT is that convenient devices inside our house such as TV, fridge, maybe even lamps or cars. Those things and other objects are connected to the internet to be controlled. And of course, with all that there, there's also challenges and in this slide st states the challenges for future wireless communication we're seeing this from two different aspects which is network and devices and as for challenges in network the first one is going to be gigabit per second data rates with no errors because for high efficiency use of devices in the current era it is necessary to provide higher data rate with fewer error percentages second one for network is uh, energy efficiency because nowadays some people usually utilize more than one telecommunication devices for example like phone laptop their tabs etc so the challenge is how to make things more efficient and not waste a lot of energy the third one is scarce or bifurcated uh, spectrum uh, most wireless wireless communication are delivered through a spectrum and each of them has its own specific spectrum that they use for example uh, like 5G uh, 5G works in 3.3 until 3.8 gigahertz and in the near future for telecommunication devices will need more of it in a spectrum so it needs to be managed uh, the, the spectrum usage needs to be managed and then uh, the reli reliability and coverage uh, and of course the telecommunication needs to be more reliable and provide more coverage and more a areas uh, than just the highly populated area heterogeneous uh, networks means that a network technology such as 3G, 4G and 5G and Wi-Fi needs to work seamlessly and last one, seamless uh, internet work handoff. Uh, this means that providing services for a BTS, so calling to further places is possible without any interruption. Next one, the other aspect, which is devices. Of course, the first one's gonna be performance, meaning that a handheld smartphone can outmatch the performance to that of the PC or a laptop. The complexity, which is uh, more complexity and more sophisticated circuit that needs to be compact in a small area. And of course, size, power, cost, and energy. High frequencies. 
uh, high demand from confuse uh, from consumers uh, for high data rates, and then multiple antennas. Uh, phones these days uh, has approximately four antennas implanted. Multi radio integration means that uh, phones that can be used as hotspot, Wi Fi, GPS, etc., and coexistence that the devices need to be able to adapt with any other devices, including the old ones. And here we can see the mobile growth throughout the years. This one in particular from 2009 until uh, 2014, the percentage jumped from a hundred percent until a thousand and two hundred fifty percent this is a exponential growth from the year 2009 until 2014 and the mobile data, data increases the spectrum has a lot of deficit and this is the reason why spectrum scarcity needs to be considered as one of the wireless communication challenges and the government must regulate this sort of issue regarding the spectrum usages and this is one of the possible solution which is SD radio or software defined radio which means that it is possible to uh, the radio can be seen as a software which digital signal processor can be programmed so that it can use that it can be used for any technology for example like 3g 4g 5g and etc the next one is going to be shannon limit shannon limit is uh, used to determine the limit of error free data that can be transferred basically our network capacity shannon limit can be used as a reference for performance limits as well when high power is used, we can send or receive more information and vice versa. When the bandwidth is large, more information can be placed and vice versa. The B in this formula means bandwidth. And as for the S and N, basically is SNR which is signal to noise to noise ratio and S is definitely the transmission power and N is noise and as for that uh, we're going to uh, this slide which is the current devices and the emerging ones in the near future the current is obviously 4G cellular systems LTE advanced 6G wireless LANs or Wi-Fi millimeter waves massive MIMO system uh, satellite systems Bluetooth Zigbee and YGIG and the emerging one which is 5G cellular and 7G Wi-Fi system, ad hoc and cognitive radio networks, energy harvesting system, and chemical and molecular. And that is all for the introduction of wireless communication. Thank you for watching the video and I'll see you later. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.